Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. The official MW2 launch is coming up later this week, and I, for one, could not be more excited to jump on, start leveling up, start going for, you know, weapon camos and all sorts of stuff like that. Today, though, I wanted to give you guys the absolute best tips and tricks for day one to get you guys completely prepared for launch as soon as you go ahead and you know jump on the game or start downloading it you know if you haven't started preloading uh whenever you go to jump on you guys can be as prepared as possible you know exactly what you need to jump into to sort of min max put in the minimum effort and the minimum amount of time for the maximum reward here right so we're trying to optimize your gameplay experience to the fullest so first tip here right away level as many different weapons as you possibly can this is beneficial for a handful of reasons not only is the call of duty meta constantly changing these days you know uh with all the weapon tuning updates it never hurts to have as many different weapons leveled that way in case your favorite top tier meta weapon gets nerfed you could fall back on you know whatever the new meta is and have that gun already leveled rather than having to try and level it while everyone else is already using it and just you know destroying the entire lobby right so that's the first thing that helps helps out with of course warzone 2 not going to be available right at launch it's going to be dropping on november 16th but for the launch of warzone 2 you want to have as many different weapons leveled as possible that way you have as many different options available to you for whatever ends up being the meta i'm sure we're going to have a relatively good idea of what weapons are going to excel in warzone based on mw2 multiplayer gameplay and you guys already know uh you know after a bit after we've gone through and leveled a lot of the weapons and you know really figured out the stats on a lot of them we're going to be covering what weapons to look out for for warzone 2's launch but initially just having as many weapons leveled as possible also gives you that sort of fallback and safety net if you will for warzone 2 as well but most importantly here leveling as many different weapons as possible is going to give you a sort of added xp bonus if you will now not a physical like if you level this many weapons you get a 10 percent xp bonus nothing like that but as you go through and level different weapons every time you're starting off a new weapon and you start unlocking uh, you know different attachments for it and different receivers for it and getting kills with it over time you're going to be completing some of those more basic challenges in game which is essentially just free xp and the more of those you can recycle for you know every rifle every smg every marksman every sniper so on and so forth that's just going to be even more xp you're stacking on top of all the kills you're getting all the objectives you're completing everything like that so leveling weapons and constantly switching around to the next one after you're finished with one is a great way to sort of maximize your xp gain but also keep yourself fully prepared for any upcoming changes to the meta and whatever may change or be top tier with warzone 2. also speaking of like taking advantage of those easier challenges that is the perfect segue here into tip number two go for any and all relatively easy challenges uh with the launch where you know we're gonna have a bunch of different new challenges to complete for you know the daily challenges whether that's getting five headshots or uh you know defuse two bombs or whatever it may be like always go for those if you have the time those are super easy and any xp you can get off the rip is going to be useful especially if you can combine it with some double xp tokens i imagine launch will probably also have some double xp events they usually do that as well but any easy XP you can go after to rank up to 55 as fast as possible is obviously going to be something you want to go after. So those basic daily challenges, run up those. But also pay attention to like all the career milestone challenges as well. You know, get 500 rifle eliminations, get 100 sniper headshots, different challenges like those that will be available in the barracks. Uh, ones that really don't require too much extra work are absolutely the ones to focus on. Now, there's also ridiculously hard challenges, you know, bounce a throwing knife off of two objects and then kill a player with it. That's probably not going to happen naturally in gameplay. The main challenges you want to focus on to maximize your gameplay time and your XP earn rates is those ones that you can easily naturally progress just by playing the game. So anything, uh, you know, kill related, headshot related, challenge related like that, that's, uh, you know, stuff that's already going to happen when you're playing as is absolutely want to focus on those for some easy xp bonuses as well now as we move on into tip number three just want to remind you guys if you're new to the channel every single day i got you covered with mw2 news and updates loadouts tips everything going on there alongside warzone 2 and dmz eventually as well so if you want to guarantee you are always up to date you always have the latest intel be sure to hit that subscribe button turn on those post notifications join us on the road to 1 million subscribers and also if you guys enjoy this video or if you find it helpful a like rating would be seriously appreciated as well let's go for 1500 likes on this one now this next tip is all focused around camo challenges if you're like me you're gonna be trying to basically just go for all the weapon camo challenges as much as you possibly can my game plan is to go through level up all the weapons first and then go back and start going through every single weapon category and completing the camo challenges but 
That said, before I'm doing that, if I'm going through and leveling these weapons and I notice there's a seriously overpowered gun right away, like let's say for instance, the Lockman 556 TAC rifle is mad overpowered, I'm gonna go ahead and use that and get those camo challenges done before it gets nerfed. Basically, if you're trying to min-max your camo progress, do the overpowered weapons as soon as you possibly can because they will get nerfed. It happens every single year. And then if you get to that weapon after they've nerfed it, you're gonna have to go through the camo challenges all the same but with a weapon that's a lot worse than it was before. So if you're a camo challenge grinder, if you want to get that max camo ASAP, in my opinion, the best way to go about that is doing the overpowered weapons first. Some people might say, you know, do the riot shield, do the knife first, do the harder weapons first. Those aren't really ever going to change. That doesn't bother me too much. I'm going for the overpowered weapons before they have any adjustments made to them. Uh, next up here, tip number four, sort of a brand new one here for MW2. Play the campaign if you got the extra time before launch, you know, as we're in the pre-launch days here with the campaign early access. And honestly, the only reason I'm including this as a tip uh, is because the rewards you get for completing campaign missions, primarily the double XP and the double weapon XP tokens. On launch like this, uh, those are some of the most valuable things you can have in game. The more XP tokens and double weapon XP tokens you have available, the better because obviously it's going to make your grind way way easier and for playing the campaign you get a bunch of xp tokens for base rank xp and weapon xp so if you got some leftover time before launch absolutely go ahead and jump in a campaign and uh you know complete as many missions as you can try and finish this story maybe so that you can actually take advantage and get those extra tokens then the last tip i have here is to take advantage of all the next gen features now this primarily applies to uh you know console pc you've already got all the uh customization options there for fov for all your graphic settings more so than on console honestly with uh how you can tweak your graphics but in general uh we now have you know console fov slider we have independent and affected field of view for ads which makes the recoil a lot easier on weapons you have potentially if you have an applicable monitor 120 hertz basically you want to be doing as many uh tweaks to your gameplay there to take advantage of the current gen features and the next gen features whatever you want to refer to them as to make your gameplay as smooth as possible uh while you know having 120 fov and affected field of view is not going to make you a pro overnight it is going to make your gameplay experience way way smoother or whatever fov by the way that you prefer if you like 105 more than 120 go for it 120 is not like the absolute best by any means but for an example that's what i used uh but you know smoothing out your gameplay as much as possible with stuff like that turning off motion blur uh you know turning off head bob if you can or the screen shake optimizing your gameplay like that with all the new features available in the settings is a must-have because it's going to make your gameplay experience way better in general and the better your gameplay experience is and the more smooth that it is likely over time the better you're going to perform because you're not going to be stuttering or lagging or you can't see things because of fov or your recoils too much because of independent all sorts of stuff like that right so definitely uh be sure to tweak those and i'll have a settings video on the channel for you guys don't worry about that you already know that's coming day one so stay tuned for that but uh yeah definitely make sure to take advantage of all those new settings that all being said, those are five of the best tips I can give you guys for day one of MW2. Of course, come launch, we'll have plenty of more intel dropping here on the channel with other tips, the latest news, updates, everything you guys need to know about the game, I'll be covering it. So make sure you are subscribed with those noties turned on. And if you guys enjoyed the video, let me know by dropping a like on it as well. As always, if you want to check out any of my partners, be sure to use code IMMORTAL for a discount on all SCUF, G Fuel, Gamer Advantage, and Control Freak products. And the links for all those can be found down in the description below. But once again, thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time, take it easy, have an awesome rest of your day, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.